YSK you aren't supposed to use apostrophes to pluralize years. It's 1900s, not 1900s. You only use an apostrophe when you're omitting the first two digits 90s. Not 90s or 90s. YYSK it's an incredibly common error and can detract from academic writing as it is factually incorrect punctuation. Edit since trolls and contrarians have decided to bombard this thread with mental gymnastics about things they have no understanding of. I will be disabling notifications and discontinuing responses. While can thank the uneducated trolls for that. Retired editor here. This is correct. The manuals of style are consistent here. Though it is just accepted convention unrelated to grammatical rules. It's the 1900 is. Yep. Why do so many people use an apostrophe to mean holy shit here comes an S. Not only for years simply put apostrophes don't make plurals. Thank you for this post Apple autocorrect has miseducated so many people. This is also just plurals in general. All my apostrophes are possessive. That's for my safety. Correct me if I'm wrong. But would you say I finished my sophomore year with all as? Part of the problem is that this error is baked into the iPhone autocorrect system. I'm not sure about Android. Infuriating. The USD dollar symbol goes before the number come on, people. And you flip the apostrophes when it's numbers. Basically, the tail of the apostrophe points to the character it's replacing. Additionally, do not use apostrophes to pluralize words. I can't tell you how mad it makes me see to see shit like I walked my dogs to the park or reacting to funny TikToks. You aren't supposed to use apostrophes to pluralize anything. The crazy thing is I have known this all my life and yet I occasionally catch myself typing it. What if it's referring to something that belongs to that era, i.e. 1990s fashion? I think that autocorrect puts the apostrophes in and people don't know or care to correct them. Where can I subscribe to more grammar facts? What I can't get into is years old. Sure he's 12 years old but not a 12 years old. To me he would be a 12 year old. It is factually incorrect punctuation. You mean grammatically incorrect. There are no facts in dispute here. I would concede the errant apostrophe and I can add in the Oxford comma. But I will never ever forgive using should have when they mean should have this is a hill I will gladly die on. The amount of times I see people say something like, yeah, back in 09, I was like, you clearly know you're supposed to use the mark to denote you removed part of the year. So how can you also not know where to put it? Putting it at the end makes absolutely no sense. 09 means 0920. Not 2009. Same as when people use M when meaning them. You clearly know you're supposed to use the mark to denote you removed the TH. So why the fuck aren't you putting it where the TH was? The word isn't emph. Thanks for the clarification. Oh cool. I never actually knew the definitive answer for this. So thank you. Also YSK it's paid. Not paid. And when describing money, stop typing P-A-Y-E-D when it's supposed to be paid. I actually needed this reminder. Odd for a Sunday morning but I'll take it. You are not supposed to use an apostrophe to pluralize anything. I've been guilty of this. Thank you for the clarification. Unfortunately, no one who needs to hear this will care enough to read this and get it right.
I should know this. Yet every time I go to write one I question it all over again. Yes any time something is pluralized. I can't count the amount of times my kids' teachers send stuff home like this. Today's laziness is tomorrow's convention. I was a typing teacher many years ago and was taught to teach there were two spaces at the end of every sentence. I'm not sure why one would think to put an apostrophe there in the first place unless they were making it possessive instead of plural. People often put an apostrophe in its incorrectly. Thank God someone talks about it. Im a 90s kid. I say 80s, 90s etc. What if the decade is possessive? Like James Cameron's movies, Disney's movies, 90s movies. Many people don't know how to use apostrophes or spell or use even basic noun verb agreement. The list really goes on and on. Americans be like I'm a write it the way I wanna write it. Sadly reading is not a top skill of most Americans. Can't speak for the rest of the world grammar. Punctuation. Spelling most people are on a seventh grade level at best that said I thought we all knew in. Apostrophe at the end before the S is for possessiveness. Sadly I don't know everyone even knows what the word possessiveness means. People have no clue when to use their correctly either. Oh and a lot is not a word. Neither is anyways. Can you comment on adding an unnecessary ed to the end of irregular verbs? That is exploding right now just like Loose Loose did. Thanks for this. You should know that anyone using while automatically projects lower levels of literacy and education. I haven't heard this since the early 2000s. I've just been reading through lots of comments and I have concluded that the English language is filled with rules that are followed by exception after exception. The English language is an absolute nightmare to master. I don't intend to be proper. This might be the least important YSK ever. If a grammatical rule doesn't clarify anything, and the only reason to obey it is that it annoys the people who know the rule, it's of no value. And yeah, I'm talking to you. Split infinitives and don't end a sentence with a preposition. You're correct. Ya yeah, stupids. You are supposed to use your brain to make meaning of the ambiguous in life. I'm still gonna do it on Reddit, right into the 30s. I thought it was a possessive apostrophe s. So, 90s fashion would be clothing styles belonging to that decade. This use is incorrect. Q how many grammar police does it take to change a light bulb? A2. I found the edit hilarious. The guy really thinks he's important here for some reason. My goodness. Thank you. It's not just years. I see these mistakes made every day in the US and it mildly affects my well-being cold sweat smile. Thank you for addressing one of my major pet peeves. To pluralize anything. The amount of times I see people use to pluralize is ridiculous and makes me cringe so hard every time. I took my girlfriend out for burgers and she loved it. Confounded face confounded face confounded face. You aren't supposed to use apostrophes to pluralize years. You aren't supposed to use apostrophes to pluralize anything. Not just years you shouldn't really use apostrophes to pluralize anything. That edit is the most condescending thing I've ever read. A lot of people use apostrophe to pluralize acronyms abbreviations too. E.g. CEOs instead of CEOs.